Hello everybody and welcome to Computer Craft episode 4 I think and in this one we're going to be going over uh, a turtle command and that command is turtle.inspect you can use it for a whole bunch of stuff and I can show you exactly what it does so if you come over here and run the check program uh, I keep forgetting that things broken so go to Lua and do turtle dot inspect and Minecraft iron block metadata zero and let's just break this guy and place this guy here and run the same thing and we can see it's Batania living rock so you can use that for a whole bunch of stuff and it does work with mods as I showed you with the uh, living rock it will even work for other turtles and stuff, I believe. Let's turn on inspect. Yep, computer craft, CC, turtle advanced, metadata zero. So, that's pretty awesome. And if we go over here, and I grab some sand, some living wood. If we run inspect, and I spelled that wrong. If I place a block of sand, it automatically gets mined up. And if I place a living wood, nothing happens. If I come over to here and start test one, I place sand, nothing happens. I place living wood, and it gets broken. So that's different things you can do. Uh, I made a another program over here, which I probably will actually be using in my single player world once I get all the things set up correctly how I want. So here we have our living rock, and here we have our turtle. So we're going to make it run one time. So this little guy is going to come around and mine all this stuff up. Then he will come around and place the stone back and return to his position and deposit all his inventory into there except the slots. I have um, that he cannot empty. So let's give him more stone just to make sure he's always topped off. Okay, so it clears the whole inventory except the bottom uh, right hand slot. And yeah, that's using the turtle.inspect. If I run it now, it says neither of the designated blocks were found. But if I change it to uh, this, I believe it should work as well. So one, this is a native block found, and it will go through. It doesn't check before every block, which doesn't matter too much. It can be a little bit of a pain, but yeah. And I will probably add in a random thing that it generates a number between like 0 to 1 or something like that, or 1 to 2. And if it selects either one, then it selects which slot and pulls out either uh, logs or stone to make the other stuff. So over here, I have an example, which I will show you the inner workings of, but I will show you the main uh, programming you need to detect blocks and use it for an output. Let me get rid of this rain and set the time brighter there we go and let's start so uh, what should we name this edit test just for the sake of this and we want to do a while true do loop and that will run whatever is inside of it indefinitely until it is broken I actually wanna just keep that over here and next you wanna go p1 comma p2 compared to turtle dot inspect just like that so uh, turtle dot inspect returns two values the p1 is assigned the first value and the p2 is assigned the second one so that's what that does and we're gonna say if or for or sorry if p1 is equal to true, then 
and that will say if it detects a block and when it detects a block it returns true if it doesn't find a block it returns false and will not run that so if it returns true then it will run the code inside this so we're going to do for key value in and then pairs p2 I believe that code assigns the um, values of the second one into a table as this is called not a hundred percent sure but from what I know that's what it does so we're gonna do if or next you want to do if v equals and then the name of the block so as you can see from the other ones over here now let's look at this you can see it says the name of where it is from and then the actual name it has given inside code so if we actually um, let's put one of these guys here so minecraft comma chest okay like that and metadata of four I don't really know what metadata does but it's not really important for this so we won't have to worry about it so if that let's do minecraft and I believe it is iron underscore block for a block of iron so whoops I forgot something so we're going to do that and then put then on the end and then if it detects an iron block it will do whatever you have inside it so let's just do a simple turtle that dig like that and then and 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 I believe one more so that closes off that that and I believe I need one more test I forgot something oh there we go do save exit test now if I get an iron block and place it in front of here it will not automatically mine it so let's terminate that and to prove that it won't do any let's change it to a chest okay now we're running test we place this it will not pick it up if we place a chest it will break it so that's pretty awesome so that and I've ha been having a tiny bit of problems with else inside of this but uh, let's try it so else v is equal to minecraft iron block just like that then turtle update Line seven. I believe I need an else and an else if. Like that. Else if. Save, exit, test. And I need to add another one. There you go. So if we place a block of iron, it gets mined up. And if we place a chest, it automatically breaks it. And you can continue on like that. I believe, anyway, we can quickly test that. Let's say... Else if... V is equal to Minecraft... Oopsies. Minecraft sand just like that and then and then just do a turtle that day and spell correctly exit test now I'm not sure if it's meant to be like that or not but we'll just keep adding them uh, it may be a coding error somewhere else but now that works 
And let's grab some sand. So we have our sand, iron, and our chest. So if you place iron there, it gets mined. Sand gets mined, and chest get mined. But another block does not. So, yeah, that's basically the inner workings. You can add as much as you want. And I will come over here and show you a cool little uh, operation you can do with a door. So I believe if you come over here, sorry about that lag, if we get some living wood, break this block, place some living wood there, and, whoopsies, I forgot to uh, turn this on again. I actually need to run normal redstone. I was experimenting earlier. Sorry about that. Okay, so just like that. And you are empowered. There we go. So now he's working correctly. And we want to run the exit like that. And then run the house program like that. So if we come over here and break this iron block and place the living wood, this should work at least, unless I'm forgetting something. I think I am. Okay, so let me quick take a look at this house and, oh, yep, yeah, there's a I forgot for a second. So house and we actually need a log of some sort. All the logs use the same, unfortunately, so... Okay, if we walk in our house, come over here, break this block, and place a log of some sort. It will break it. Place this, open the door, close it, and our item is there. So yeah, you can use that for a whole ton of stuff. It's a really awesome program. You can use it in mining programs, such as, like, if you would find diamonds, then you can have it mine a certain amount, like, radius around it or something like that if you wanted to. And, yeah. So, I'll quickly run through this code if you're interested. So, if we take a quick look at our code here, it is very simple. Uh, Minecraft log, it will dig it, and then what this does, it selects... Uh, slots 1 through 15 which it just goes down like this through there and if there's any blocks it will put them in the chest above which is actually like a hopper it will go into any inventory I believe I'm not sure about like transfer nodes but that probably would work as well so it selects those drops them and then it goes back to the 16th slot which has the blocks you want to place in it and it will fill that up. So you would just have to either uh, every once in a while put more blocks in or just have an auto refill. I'm using hoppers. You can use basically whatever you want. I'm just doing it because that's pretty simple. You would just want to uh, cap off this stuff probably so it can't suck anything else in. But yeah, it digs the log out and it places the iron block back and it disguises itself and unlike what I did with my password protected door um, you want to have the uh, redstone output set to true for this because the door is actually placed on side so it is always on so you can't interfere with it with a redstone signal and then that actually turns it off so it opens the door so that's how that works and you have your item so let's quickly run through it again and I believe it's this one place that oh and I forgot to run the program again alright so save exit house just like that come over here get rid of this place a log there breaks it places the block back opens the door our item has appeared and it shuts the door Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, it will put.
put your items back in the chest and you can set this to whatever you want you can change how long the door stays open you can change what blocks to do it I'm just doing this because I wanted to do it for an example but you can use it for a whole ton of stuff something like this or like I said before mining programs and other such stuff so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the episode I hope you learned something if you have a question uh, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I will try and help you out as best I can or provide links so you can get help with your problem. And I will see you next time. This is Heller, signing out.